Hey guys, this is Slavik. I do really appreciate that you guys enjoyed my intro to the new EU4 series, Achievement Hunter, where my goal is to complete all of EU4 achievements before EU5 is released. Today I will go after a bit harder achievement than the previous one, because I will go for the Reapers. Achievement that only 0.3% of the players have. It requires you to start as Ragon, turn into a peasant republic, and then control both Madrid and Paris. So we have to go after two major powers in Europe. How I'm gonna achieve that? Well, just take a look. Oh, and guys, one more point. If you do want to get notified about all the future videos of this Achievement Hunter run, Please do remember to leave a subscription because I know half of you are not subscribing, so you're gonna miss all the notifications. I'll start with improving relations with Naples, since it's not gonna be easy to keep them loyal. Go ahead and select some rifles, which is gonna be both Castile and France for the mission tree. And nobody likes us, as well as England. Now, because of that, it won't be easy to find uh, strong allies, but it's essentially gonna be Austria and the Castilian rivals that would like to be our ally. Uh, Morocco, maybe? Absolutely. Let's uh, ally Morocco. And then the rivals of France would like to ally us. Well, that's pretty much just Castile. So it's good that at least we've got Austria. Now we'll be building favors on this nation that we just allied. So Austria and Morocco. At the same time, let's just go ahead and uh, complete our setup for estates. Since it's gonna be a short term campaign, we don't really have to go and take mana from all of the estates. Instead, uh, I'm gonna only take mana from um, uh, nobility on top of manpower as well as supermassive with the crown and a general. From clergy, we will uh, take religious diplomat for the diplomatic reputation as well as just higher loyalty, so we'll keep them loyal. While from the burgers, uh, we'll take prestige as well as 1% uh, loans. And interest per annum. Then we will seize land, take a diet, which is gonna be subjugating Navarra. Well, technically, we can get an event to make them our PU, but very often they just go off under Castile. So, how about we just use a CB to go and take them? Then we will take the ships, and day one, we have to send our galleys to hunt pirates in both Valencia just split it hunt pirates in Valencia as was hunting pirates in Genoa I will be raided by Tunisian and Flemishian uh, pirates most probably before the month tick, so this won't be any pact but they usually also uh, raid you after the month tick. that's why I'm gonna do this at least Morocco cannot raid us because they're our allies then uh, take a general, which is actually not that bad, same as our rural general. And we can go ahead and pick up some advisors. Aragon starts with some cheaper advisors. You see, this guy is 50% cheaper, so that's gonna be helpful. To here, I'll take uh, trade efficiency, while from the military, we'll go ahead for the manpower. You can select the naval doctrine, which is gonna be. Ah, how about use our unique one? The infants of Aragon. Uh, you see, I can either remove Castilla's arrival, uh, get some trust and opinion, or just get perma claims on whatever Castilla is holding. Since we want to control Madrid, that's what I'm gonna do. Since our capital state have both a trade center and an estuary, I'm gonna change the state edit here, product trade, because it's cheaper in the capital state. And so we do actually have local organizations, so we might think about taking some of this, at least on our key states. Let's save some mana before we do so. Our rule is not bad, so it's gonna help with this, which we cannot say about our heir. Should most probably just disinherit, but I'm just gonna count that this guy dies uh, before this guy. As told you, already got traded by Tunis. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Just hopeful they will not trade us anymore before uh, the month. Castile allies Novara, so I won't really attack them. But we might consider attacking Castile uh, directly. But before we do so, there's no rush. We do really have good mana generation military, which we cannot see about Castile. So we will just wait for the technology. Just as told you, I'm gonna start building favors on both Austria and uh, Morocco. Let's turn our forwards off as well. 
So save money, so balance is just much better. I'll send the ships to protect trade, as well as just uh, move bowling these transport ships. With uh, the cheaper advisor for Stapkos, I can get it up to one. And you see, Aragon starts with some professionalism, and since I want to use Merix, I'm gonna start burning it already. Just realize that we are starting with very high autonomy in the <laughs> capital state provinces. That's why I'm gonna start decreasing this manual already. Maybe there will be an event to decrease it, but how about we do this this way? Since I have one more slot on the alliances, I'm gonna go ahead and ally Pope, which is gonna help me get more papal points. How about the allies of France? Yeah, trash. But it looks like yeah, Maine was rendered to France, so there's no war between these two guys. I just realized since I'll be a peasant republic, I don't have to care neither about the ruler nor about the heir, they'll be replaced by a god tier peasant. Yeah, I think that's the event. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Um, I will get some rebels. Well, a lot of them. Lose some stability. So just turn on our armies and turn on our forts. The rebels from Barcelona, Alacant, and Menorca. Wait, Menorca? Why would you be on Menorca? Since it will be hard to get on Menorca, I will start getting my troops there already. And I'll wait at least three months before I clean this. I'll get the stability, so I'll lose free stability in game one. <laughs> okay, let's uh, just make sure to get an um, Alphonse as a leader. No, no, he's gonna die. I don't want to take the decision. Okay, let's just click it. So yeah, that minus one stability, so it's not tragic. We'll get it back uh, higher. And this is not a fun battle, but we're winning it. Great. I'm just still waiting for the professionals to be burned. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm keeping Naples loyal. And as soon as we run out of professionalism, I'm just gonna get some marks to do with these rebels. I could actually pay off some debt of Naples ready to make them more loyal. And we could think about uh, paying just points and ducats a month to improve it further. That's fine, we can afford it. We just want to avoid a situation where like France or Castile support their independence. Because it's still 13,000 troops we want to use in the war. Yeah, with Slack and recruiting standards disabled, I can go ahead and recruit a free company yes a free company to deal with the rebels now you know when you become a peasant republic you can't really have pius so i wouldn't even get a iberian wedding that's why the achievement is cool riches will go after france and castile a impact will centrally help you know if i wanted to play a, like a fully efficient campaign as aragon i would be already fighting with uh, Byzantium and making them my subjects and going after the Ottomans and just conquering everything to unite the Mediterranean. But as stated at the very start of this uh, video, the goal is just to get the peasant achievement. Since I won't be spending my diploma points or anything, I could get uh, some local organizations that are paid with diploma points. But what do we have a choice? Is this tradition growth? Centralized state cost, missionaries cost, local prosperity growth might be of use, and this one will be tie already. <sighs> yeah, let's just go for this, it's gonna help with even higher economy. So 15.5, 15.6. Ah, oh, yeah, the high autonomy in the provinces did not make that much of a bit. 3.8. How about we do this uh, here as well? Prosperity growth is definitely low use. It's 16 already, 16.1. It's gonna also update trade income since uh, we increase development. Uh, local organizations gives you one death in each of the provinces. That's 16.3 already. Since Burgundy is no longer causing us the rival, I will go ahead and take alliance with them as well. That might not make Austria happy, but honestly, Burgundy is much more likely to help me with France and Austria. Mm, being over the limit. Doesn't matter. I could break alliance with uh, Pop. Let's actually do so. Yeah, I'll just have to manually improve relations with them just so they don't think about excommunicating me. And see, Austria wants to break the alliance. So, what I'll try doing, I will go and not confine South Vietnamese because I don't have prestige. Oh boy. At least I have a, a high state government because there's no nobility for this current form. Uh, I'll actually take admin. And diplo points after all. Uh, how do I fix this, Mr. Austria? Matric reputation. And try 
of access minus three and improve relations a bit. I think that should be enough. So since I have Republican tradition, I can take the advisor cost as well because the staff cost is not uh, as important. Here goes tech four, which is also some innovativeness. And I will want to leverage it against Castile. I'll let them burn some empower on rebels first. Minus two stability. For my first guarantee for I will take a year really Republican tradition. Preparing for the war of Castile, I will get a grand company, so be at 35,000 troops. And I'm preparing because Toledo is about to be sieged. So ideally you want to take over that siege from the rebels before they finish. Okay, let's do it. Declare the war. How could I ally Austria before I declare? Oh god. Let's wait to ally Austria first. Yeah, the rebels took over the capital in the meantime, so yeah. I, I think it is more important to have this alliance. It's gonna be of help against France. Just go ahead and have some fun. This war, I would just go with me and Morocco. The number of troops will be similar, but it counts England and Portugal on their side. I have to take advantage. I doubt England will come with everything. There's a lot of uh, things that I think will happen, but yeah, I think we should be fine. Let's go for Toledo. There's a chance I wipe the troop D1, because uh, these are grasslands. The stack advantage I mentioned, and obviously the quantity advantage. No, it was close to wipe, but not really. Unfortunate. One thing Morocco is useful, they are tanking Portuguese and I think whole Castilian army as well. No, half of Castilian army, they have some yeah, troops here. Since we are kind of siege raising, uh, Castilian gonna get uh, defensive edict in my capital state. So with 40% defensiveness, the siege ticks are 43 days each. My Evora here is 32 days per tick. Maybe at least here I'll be able to buy them. Yes, and this is purely with my American troops. Thank you so much, Portugal, for participating in that war. I'm gonna take reparations from you. I'm gonna break your relation with Castile. I'm gonna take full money and I'm gonna make sure you transfer your trade power to me. So this way, it was actually worth for me really to join that war with the amount of the gains. I got completely raided by the Berbers in the meantime, but yeah. Let me just carp him a bit more now to make sure we have a bit higher war score to peasant out. Oh, look what he, who decided to show up. I'm not so sure England that's a good idea to come and fight me on here in the mountains. Yeah, that's what I thought. Is that big battle enough to get... Wait, where are you running? I ran into Castilian provinces. <gasps> Let's wipe British troops, English troops. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I think they recovered too much morale for me to wipe them, but let's take a look. We have a chance. No, not with these rolls. And then now they're gonna run back to their homeland. Uh, can I piece this out already? Yes. I want Navarra for the mission tree. I want La Mancha, which is a gold mine. I want Madrid which is required for the mission, and obviously let's just take a bit of money as well. AE-wise, we are okay, we'll just take a bit of a break now. As told you, Vassalize uh, Navarre is uh, Mempa recovery speed, claims uh, on some French provinces, as well as the provinces that I already have claims on. I think there's no time to waste, let's just finish this achievement. Take Tech 5, which is new units, I'm gonna definitely leverage. Start praying for the army, take two loans, a recruit an independent army. Told you, we just right now need to own the province, not even core it. This is minus 30 tackets a month, but I can take 46 loans and I have almost two months free seven of income. Let's declare it. I can call both Bergen and Austria to help us. That's gonna be conquest. You know what? Let's make sure. Where did I have to get one, two, three, four, five, six provinces to get to Paris? Let's make sure to. Mark all of these provinces of our provinces of interest so you can get to Paris. Yeah. What's the worst score? Cost? 9, 19, 29, 41. <laughs> we'll be barely able to take Paris. But I will be able to take it. Just declare war. And let's have some. Man, it technically have more troops, but you know how it is with AIs. I'm gonna state the provinces from Castile. Fully stated immediately. Especially La Mancha, where I will also start diving it with Diplo points uh, to get some more income from Gal. This is gonna also decrease a bit. So it's not gonna be 2.3, but rather instead of that... Huh, 
almost free income, but it's most important, increasing our loan cap. Burgundy is losing absolutely every single battle, but it's fine. Uh, maybe they will one day burn Frenchman power. Oh no, guys. No! Burgundian succession happened in the middle of that war. And Sweden could Burgundy under Pew. What the hell? Oh boy, it's gonna make that war a bit harder, but it's fine. Guys, I, cannot, I don't have coding French for this. <sighs> to find a way <laughs> to be able to take Paris. Austria is not super helpful so far, they just keep getting wiped, they had the tech free. That broken in succession. I probably could have birded it, but we have bolts, guys. We have bolts. That's uh, not gonna slow us down. In situations like this, where I bridge the walls with uh, my merc stack, I think it is fine to go ahead to slow down the speed and simply assault the fort. Let's see how many troops is gonna cost us. So far, three thousand. I don't think it's gonna be much more than that. Maybe four thousand. Yep, just uh, less than three thousand. And you know what, guys? Uh, I've, I've got an idea how to take uh, Paris. I'll mostly be pretending to take this one province, and once I have it court, <laughs> I'll be able to have core bridge to Paris. And yes, Austria is down to zero troops. Absolutely useless allies. You know what, guys? At least it's gonna make this episode more interesting, right? Because I'm pretty much... Like, Austria helped tank, uh, tank France a bit. But I'm dealing with France by myself over here. Third gallery reform I'm gonna take. Actually, no idea. I'll just go for frequent elections, which do not matter. I'm already at 666. Okay, Brittany, it's time. Um, AE? Fine. No CB war on Brittany. Just get stability back to one. And I only need one province to be taken from them. Then I need to core it, and then I need to get the 100% PSD from France. Sounds easy, right? Let's take a look at the French army quality just till it's tech 4. So my tech 5 uh, independent company should be doing some magic here. And it did doing magic, but without uh, anything really special. Oh shit, guys, I forgot. I can't take anything from Brittany because I don't have coring range. <laughs> Never mind, guys, I'm just so stupid. I can take Paris in that piece deal. <laughs> so just got my sense to completely use this for Brittany. I guess it's fine. Hey okay, guys, how about we just concede defeat? Or give war operations a bit of money. How is standing in flows? Yeah, I think I just I cannot waste resources on that war. I'll give Abruzzi as well, it's not even mine provinces. Yep. Anything else you want? Okay. <laughs> it was such a stupid move. Uh, Austria just got pissed out, so I have to be fully focused on defending them from France because technically. Oh, I have more troops. I actually lost a lot. I don't know what happened to French troops, but they're down to 5,000. Where and how they disappeared, I don't know. There's 4,000 here, 1,000 here. They're down to nothing. Okay, okay, there we are. That's the biggest border girl you ever see. Combined with uh, a tiny bit of a collision. But what do you do? To be an achievement hunter. There it is. The Reapers started as Aragon, be a peasant republic and have both Madrid and Paris owned by any peasant republic. 1459, easy peasy. It's not that much of a ruined country, it's just 19 out of 36 loans, and this is why I'm not controlling the gold mine. AE would probably kill us, but we don't care. This is all for today, and if you did, guys, enjoy another Achievement Hunter run, let me know by liking this video, and obviously subscribe to the channel to get notified about the next achievements we'll be taking. There's plenty more to go.